Hey squad, welcome back. Now today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can achieve a really sweet analog sounding mix of a cool hip hop soul beat just like this one. I'm gonna show you exactly what tools I'm using and the results you achieve when doing so. I'm also gonna feature this fantastic new plugin, the Curves Equator by Waves. I'm gonna explore what difference it makes in a few different ways within this mix so you can see the results and judge for yourself. And as always, you'll be able to download this entire Logic project for your exploration and enjoyment. A link will be in the description. So with that said, let's dive in. Okay, so to kick things off, let me bring all of the individual parts into the mix with their processing already in place. And then we'll go back and strip things out so you can hear the difference between the raw unmixed track and then of course the mixed results. So we're gonna start with the drums and work our way through. So like I said, you can download this project completely free of charge, head over to my Patreon and download it right there. And let me take this opportunity to thank all of you guys who are supporting me on Patreon. It really makes a world of difference. Okay, so having played through all of the tracks, what I've gone and done is disabled all of the plugins on all of the tracks, including the group buses, as you can see right here. And on the master bus, I've got my studio verse audio effects rack where I've got all of my master bus mix and mastering tools. I'm also going to bypass just here. So now let's have a listen to the kick drum and see what we've got going on. Okay. Let's bring in this EQ here. And this is the logic channel EQ. Let's switch that in. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm filtering pretty much all of the top end here to give a more darker sound and to take out pretty much all of the hi-hat hit on the kick sample. Now, the other plugin I've got inserted is the Waves API 2500 compressor, which is fantastic for shaping your drums. Have a quick listen to what this does with the kick drum. Now it might appear as though a lot of the bottom end has disappeared, but I'm going for that knock. The electric bass is gonna be handling the bottom end of this track. Also, all of my drums are gonna be going through to a drum bus, and on my drum bus, I've got my Maserati GRP, which is gonna make a big difference afterwards. So moving on, let's add our snare drum. As you can see here on the snare, we've got a channel EQ. So let's hear what effect the EQ is having on the snare. Again, I'm darkening the snare, taking out some of that top end and boosting some of the low mids to give a bit more body, but shaving off the top. I want this to be a darker, warmer mix. And the other thing we've got going on on the snare is our compressor. And this time we're using the Waves CLA2A, one of my favorites. Have a quick listen to what this does. adding color and controlling the dynamics. In isolation, you're not gonna be able to fully appreciate what's going on, but as the track builds up, it will all start to make sense. Moving on to the hats. 
Again, I've got a compressor. I'm using the Logic compressor, the Vintage FET, and I've got an EQ as well. Now, as you can see, I'm filtering all of that bottom end all the way up to the high mids, and I'm taking out the very high frequencies up here. Again, I wanna darken this thing up. I'm going for an old school, warm analog mix. So let's move on to the shaker, which is this one right here. And on the shaker track, I've got an EQ, again, filtering this top end, as well as the logic spreader. If you haven't seen my video on the logic spreader, you really ought to check this one out. The spreader is one of the best tools that you'll find in Logic Pro. Now that we've got all of our drums and percussion in, let's boost this all up with our Maserati GRP. Now we're getting the beefy sound of the Maserati GRP and the color it brings. And that's our drums and percussion so far. Now you may have noticed on the kick track up here, we've got this column coming down here and I've got star next to the kick and I've got a tick just here for the bass. Now this relates to the logic groove track. This means the bass line is locking in with the groove of the kick drum. Definitely make sure you check out this recent video that I put out about the fantastic Logic Groove Track feature. You really ought to look into that one if you don't already know. Anyway, let's hear the baseline with my plugins bypassed. Okay, so now let's hear it with the first plugin, which is the Maserati B72 bass processor. Definitely adding some nice character and warmth to the bass. Now the next plugin on the chain is the classic DBX 160 compressor. And I've simply gone for the preset bass guitar. Let's have a listen to what this is doing. definitely bringing the bass more forward and helping it to cut through the mix even better. And a final plugin I've got on the chain right here is the Curves Equator, which I mentioned earlier. Now this one I'm experimenting with and it's a brand new release from Waves. Essentially, it helps to shape the tone of individual tracks, group buses, and your overall mix. Now the controls are really intuitive and very easy to understand, but the best way to explore this one is simply to start by going through the factory presets and try things out. There's quite a few things you can try out here. For this particular bass part, I've gone for the D-Harsh, the mid-range. So let's have a listen to what it's actually doing to the tone of the bass. Yes, definitely making a difference. What I like about this is it's smoothing out some of the tonal characteristics that I need to be shaved down. Because remember, I'm going for an overall smooth tone representative of the era that we're talking about, which is the late 80s, early 90s. So certainly on the bass, even with this very basic setting with hardly any modification, it's definitely making a difference. So the next thing we're gonna look at is the piano sections. Okay, so we've got two piano parts, one here and one here. Let's have a quick listen to this one, which is a piano sample loop, and I've got inserted on the channel strip the Greg Wells Piano Centric, currently bypassed. Let's have a listen. Cool, now let's bring it in the plugin. This time we're going for the lo fi piano. I really love this one. You really ought to check this one out. It's great for adding some really interesting tones and characteristics to your piano parts. Anyway, moving on to our second 
keyboard part. And this is coming courtesy of the Waves Electric 88. Now, for any of you guys who've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that this is my favorite electric piano at the moment. And I've got a couple of plugins on the channel strip, Logic's Stereo Delay plugin and the channel EQ. But let's bypass those for now. Let's start with a stereo delay. lovely now let's bring in our channel eq as you can see i filtered out quite a lot of the low end the lows and the low mids very smooth indeed At this point, I really must remind you guys that all of the Waves plugins I'm demonstrating right here are available for you to download and try out completely free of charge. Anyway, let's move on to my next set of tracks. Now it's time to add some really cool vocals. And once again, I'm pulling from Arcade. And of course, the suite we're using is Hooked. And this one is Together. Let's have a quick listen. How lovely is that? Now I've got another instance of the Waves Curves Equator, but this time I've gone for the preset Airy backing vocals. So let's AB this and hear how this is actually going to affect the vocal tone. Oh yeah, that really, really works. Airy backing vocals and that's exactly what we've managed to achieve there so definitely one to try out also just to remind you guys you can try out output arcade completely free of charge a link will be in the description for you to download the trial version along with all of the other links to the waves plugins i've demonstrated in this video okay we're now moving on to our guitar parts and we've got one two three guitar parts this one is an electric guitar riff Part. This one here is an acoustic guitar playing some guitar licks and this one here is a rhythm electric guitar. Now rather than going through every single one of the plugins on these I'm going to leave that up to you. When you download the Logic project you'll be able to go even deeper and explore in more detail what all of the individual plugins are doing. But for now the significant thing I want to show you right here is that all of the guitars are going through a guitar bus and on the guitar bus I've got this plugin here the Puig Tech EQP1, which is modeled on the vintage classic Pultec EQ. Now you'll notice that I've gone for the default preset. So essentially I'm just passing the signal through here to add the extra warmth and character that one would get from the modeling of the circuitry of this particular unit. So let's have a quick listen to the first guitar part. And on that one, we've got our CLA guitars. Okay, now for the acoustic guitar, we've got a few plugins going on here. I've got the ACG acoustic guitar processor, as well as the Fantastic H Delay and a couple of other Logic plugins as well. So let's just bring these all in and hear how the picture is building up. Okay, and now for the rhythm guitar, let's bring that one in. And for this one, I've gone for one of Logic's guitar channel presets and the electric guitar and bass. We've got clean guitar and echo studio. That's the one that we've gone for right there. Let's have a quick listen to what that's doing. Really building up nicely. And finally down here, we've got some strings and we've got some horns. And the only plugin I've got really going on with these is a Logic spreader on all of the strings to give me that extra width. On auxiliary bus one, I've got this plugin right here, which is the Abbey Road Plates. And this here is a fantastic modeling of the Abbey Road Plates reverb. 
Now, all of these parts down the bottom here are feeding through to this reverb just to create the ambience that we're looking for. So let's have a quick listen. Okay, so now all of the key plugins are in on my individual tracks, as well as on my group buses, the leveling is done. And now what we wanna do is look at what's going on on the master bus. And of course, I've got an instance of the Studio Verse audio effects rack. And in my rack, I've got the usual suspects, the Oral Exciter, the J37, Abbey Road Vinyl, and for some Neve console color, and I've gone for the NLS channel, and after that, I've inserted the curves equator and you can see the curve I've gone for here. And the preset I've gone for is master bus to dark and I've tailored it just slightly to meet my needs. After that, I've gone for the TG mastering chain unit. I've got pretty much everything switched off besides the spreader over here to give me some additional stereo width. And of course, I'm benefiting from the modeling of the circuitry of this unit. And finally, I'm going through the L3 Ultra Maximizer to give me some limiting using the Extreme Analog Profile. Now, before I play out, I just wanna thank you for watching the video and I hope I brought you value in this one. Remember, you can download the project over at patreon.com forward slash mttc you can also choose to support me there if you're enjoying my content and you want to give me that extra little boost remember as well there'll be links in the description for you to download all of the plugins demonstrated here for you to try out completely free of charge and finally if i have brought you value like the video subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment i'm always grateful when you take the time to get in touch so playing out until next time i'm deuce i'm out peace